Jurassic Crack Park, everybody. Uh, in this episode, hopefully we'll do something interesting. But right now, all I have planned is uh, some building, I guess. And we are mining right now because... Oh, volcanic rock. What is this? Is this volcanic rock? Does it have a use? We can make volcanic brick. We can, we can make volcanic brick. Oh, okay. So I guess it's just a design block. A design block. So I'm mining right now. I'm trying to find diamonds so we can get a quarry set up. And as you see, I have my drill here. And the way I've been powering my drill is with this solar helmet. A really easy to make. And all I gotta do really is just like stand out in the sun. Uh, in the overworld. And uh, what I try and do is like try and build to a point from an area where I can actually like feel the sun hitting me I don't physically feel the sun hitting me but uh an area where the sun will actually hit me and I need diamonds because apparently this drill is not able to mine obsidian that or I have to find a way to uh make invar which I think I can with a uh, tinker's construct smeltery if I combine the two but uh now we'll just look for diamonds because we need like we need a lot of diamonds i think we need 11 diamonds to make a quarry let's, let's look that up hold up first of all let's look at this drill because so i think this one works as a shovel too i forgot about that i think this one uh can mine obsidian i think i'm not exactly sure uh but yeah we will we will go ahead and ooh, here we go here's some of this i've been mining this recently too by the way uh, I mined a lot of it because I was trying to get a skull for the design of our house. And uh, you guys will see that very soon. But yeah, I guess I should mine this every time I see it. Uh, just because, you know, you can get some pretty cool stuff. And you never know when you can get like a scarab or something. Do scarabs still drop from these? I'm not going to mine this one yet though. I'll wait until I mine those. Because uh, the Jurassic Craft mod is the one I have the least experience with. Do I, I haven't played with the Jurassic Craft mod. I think the only thing I did with the Jurassic Craft mod before was I think I did a Lucky Blocks video with them. Lucky Blocks Challenge or whatever. Whatever that thing is called. I don't know. Uh, but let us go ahead and go on a little mining adventure here. Off camera. Because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Because, uh, you know, come on. We do this all the time in Minecraft. No point in showing you. I don't know what's up with, like... All of these zombies down here and skeletons are wearing these military outfits. I don't know if I stumbled upon like a uh, an old military base of some sort underground military bunker. Look at these dudes, they're just decked out in it. They are decked out in it. Makes it harder for me to kill them. Hey, can I get those? Oh, he actually dropped a piece of it. Alright, let's uh, let's put this on before... Oh my god, he dropped an enchanted bow. All this copper ore, get this out of my inventory. We got a marine jacket. Dope. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I have killed a bunch of them. And of course, the lucky uh, lucky enough for us, the first, the one that I kill on camera is the one that drops drops uh, one of the armor. So we get 0 0.2 knockback resistant and plus 3 protection, which isn't a lot of protection. Not better than nothing. But yeah, I've been seeing like every skeleton so far down here. Skeletons, zombies, I've seen like one or two zombies without it. That Enderman's annoying me. I don't know. He's just ugly. I might have to mess him up because of it. Hold up, hold up here. Hold up here. Let's get all this though. Let's get all these. I might make a ore berry farm. Maybe. Oh, uh, we're gonna throw this fossil. I mined amber down here. And uh, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm sorry. Very sorry. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we're still on the hunt for diamonds. I'm just mainly looking for diamonds now. I mean, I'll mine some ores every now and then. But mainly trying to find diamonds so I don't have to mine ores too often anymore. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit if I can get a quarry going or something like that. Ooh, finally found some. I had to strip mine, though. I had to go that low. I had to do that thing that vanilla Minecraft people do when they can't find diamonds. I'm kidding. I strip mine all the time. In vanilla Minecraft... Okay, so, we are back. We have, I think, 15 diamonds? How many? 14. Uh, found three veins. We got four. Oh, my. Okay. 
uh, well, since we're down here, might as well check out what's down here. I got a little candleberry farm going on down here because I wanted to make certain armor and also got uh, Chris Pratt down there. Is that his name? I already forgot his name. I think it is. Uh, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Chris Pratt is the guy who I think he's a main character in Jurassic World. I think he is. I'm not sure, though. Uh, so, can I... Is there room for gunpowder here? Let's put that there. I want this to be a mainly ore chest. But, yeah. We need to make a quarry. Let us do that real quick. And, uh, oh yeah, that armor I was talking about. So, we got this hardened leather armor. I always see this in, uh, in, uh, the Flans mod, but I never ever have made it before. So, if we do this... Then do this chest plate and then a helmet. Never made this armor before. Uh, we'll put away the marine stuff. We can't put the helmet on now. It looks really cool. And uh, apparently doesn't offer any absorption. According to the natural absorption mod. What that mod's supposed to do is I'm pretty sure if you put armor on, it's supposed to add more more absorption, but I don't really care. But so we need to make Cory. Cory needs a lot of gears. Um, so we need, uh, iron, and then gold. What does, hold on, I need to check in Tinker's Construct if gold is used to make any other ore. Silver, we'll make Electrum, okay. Silver and gold. So we'll put this in here, we'll put this in here. So, this is my smelter, I made it really big. And, uh, it's nice, it stores a lot of lava. I mean, I can put more here, I guess. I guess I can't really put any here. But this looks nice just for, just, just looking at it looks nice. And it's a 5x5, five five, I believe. 5, 5, 5, five, five yeah. And uh, very, it's a lot different than what I used to make. And uh, here we got a door. I'm trying to find a design here. Oh, here's the outside of our thing. This is what it looks like. Do you guys like it? It wasn't really that hard. And we got the little skulls up there. I can't break those with my fists or they'll disappear. Okay, I can take that off now. Dang, looking like a... Yep. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We're going to we're gonna attempt to make this quarry. Uh, which I need a diamond pickaxe. Do I not have a bench out here? Let's put a bench out here. For now, we'll put a bench out here. Where can I even put it? Let's put it there. Uh, diamond pickaxe. Which is no problem at all. And then we need a diamond gear. Two of them, right? Two diamond gears? Yes, which is surrounding gold gear. I make gold gears with iron and gold. So let us let's start with gold first. Let's get a thing of gold. And then uh, we'll switch to iron and get some stuff of iron. Do I have a workbench out here? I don't have a workbench out here. You kidding me? Apparently I don't have one out here. Alright, so let's get this gold. That should be enough, I believe. And let's switch to iron, which we have a lot, but... It doesn't look like we have a lot because of how big the forge is. And I think uh, making them this big instead of tall is better. Because you can smell a lot more when you make it this big. Like, look how many... That's a lot of, that's a lot of space to smell things. It's really good. Uh, we're probably going to need more iron than that. Because uh, iron gears are like the base to all the other gears. Or at least most of them. But for now, the gold ones are easy. Yeah, we're going to need more gold. Gold ones are easy. So we can just do iron like that, and then the diamond ones. And we got enough, we got three extra diamonds. Oh man, we do have three extra diamonds. I'm probably gonna make enchantment table maybe. Uh, that would help a lot. Gold. I'm not used to. It. I've never built a five x five thing like this of uh, for Tinker's construct. And I'm not used to seeing it. It's kind of weird. Uh, what do we need? Two more. So how am I going to power this? I'm probably going to power it with solar panels, upgraded solar panels. Uh, if not that, I have no clue. Oh, I also got this broken ancient helmet. We'll get into the Jurassic stuff soon. But I got to set up a park of some sort. I guess like, let's set up like an entrance for to begin with. And then we'll start setting up little stations or something. Iron gears, can I just, so I can just go like this and I'll make iron gears. That's good. I know I got iron laying around. No, I don't actually, because I used one to make a pick, I believe. Alright, no problem. No problem. We got a lot of ores. I straight up mine these ores. I usually don't even mine ores that often when I got like a quarry in here. But let's switch back to iron and let's get more iron. 
I think what we're going to do for the rest of this episode, pick out a spot where we're going to put our entrance. Now, I might put Schematica in here just to make my life easier for an entrance and maybe even future, future buildings. Uh, Schematica is a mod where you build, you can build something in like a creative world uh, and like copy that and bring it into the overworld, but you still need to bring the resources to build it. So it's just not like cheating easily like that. Uh, so say if I built the entrance out of like quartz or something, I need to go to the nether and get that quartz uh, to build it, but it'll just make it easier because if you go next to the schematica, the blueprint you have, and just hold down right click, I don't even think you have to hold down right click, just go next to it and you start placing blocks automatically. And uh, it helps a lot, makes stuff quicker, uh, to say the least. But let us make this quarry with the redstone. Give me that redstone. Quarry! Oh my god, be right back. Okay, we're gonna make a little plane here. Uh, which I need glass. We're gonna make this bell for, what is it? 4 7 G. Uh, so we need iron and we need glass. These sheep are so annoying. They won't leave the area because I'm pretty sure that sheep is stranded on a one block, one block area. I'm gonna have to knock them off because they, I can't even knock them off. I can't get up there without making my own way up there. You know what? They can stay there for now. I'll find a way to get rid of them eventually. But, uh, so apparently the pickaxe doesn't get used when you make a quarry. I never knew that. That surprises me. Which means I can get obsidian and, uh, use whatever I need to use that for. Which I'm not gonna make, uh, a lumite to mine. Well, maybe I'll make an alumite pickaxe, but I really want to use the drills because I've never used that mod before. Yeah, let's make this. We'll just auto craft it. Now we need, uh, gas, which is like this. So, MC Heli, amazing mod. Uh, maybe this is going to be one of the main mods we'll use to get around our park, if not Railcraft. But for now, we will definitely use this. Oh, this is going to be dope. This is going to be dope. Place it down. Welcome to MC Helicopter Mod. Uh, is this the drive? The driver? Pretty sure it is. Hello? Can I get in? This ain't the driver? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're fine. Where's the driver? All right, here we go. So let's open this up. Put some fuel in this baby. All right. Uh, should we do? Hmm. Yeah, let's just take flight. Hold up, I need to do this. Oh no, no, the keys. Oh. All right, we're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to do it like this. Oh, why aren't we flying? Am I in hovering mode? No, I'm not. This is a different UI than what I'm used to. Oh man, it's so smooth now. This mod has updated a lot since I uh, played with it recently in like FTB. But uh, I have macros on for different games. And uh, I, can't, I can't zoom out of the helicopter because I have those macros on. I need to disable them so I can zoom out. But yeah, we can just fly around our soon to be Jurassic Park right here. Here's a little water. We're gonna have our ocean creatures in. Oh man, this is gonna be dope. This is gonna be amazing. But yeah, we're just flying around enjoying life. Is this pickaxe like recharging? It is. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's let's set her down here. Let's not waste fuel or anything. Uh, let's actually no. Let's yeah, let's land this right. Let's land this back over here. No, we'll land it right there. Right near Chris Pratt. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hard landing? No, we're fine. We're fine. Perfect. See? I'm not going to break it because I'm going to lose the fuel if I break it. But yeah, that's going to end off this episode. Uh, I'm going to set up the quarry because it takes a while to make solar panels. If not, you if I don't use solar panels, I might install uh, extra utility and use engines from that because those engines are really easy to use. But I don't know. I'll have to see. Oh, what is this? Drafting table? There's some new things here. But yeah, I'll see. Oh, MC Pam. Mm. Mm -mm. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode of Jurassic Crack Park.